this moment. Please read this. I'm scared you'll get mad and you'll leave before I get you to finish reading the- Dear, a few seconds later than the time I just wrote to your older time sibling. Hi, it's me. Just wait. Just please. Just I, there's something I want to try. If you and I can just be right here, I can. I <sighs> wait. First, I have to shoot. I have to. I have to write a letter to before now. Uh, thank you for your time and for being time. Best, Kirsten. Dear, a few days ago, uh, I don't know if you remember me uh, because you are nine days ago and. I, 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 how I remember you, I'm sure is not accurate because you are nine days ago, but it was right now me and you nine days ago at 9.47 p.m. and him that I was with at 9.47 p.m. in you nine days ago. Yeah. Him. That night of you, I saw a coyote licking roadkill off the ground and he pointed at the wet gut goo on the street that the coyote was dragging her tongue across. That was somebody's cat. He said, it's sad. And I'm a true kitten lover, but watching that coyote eat at the ground, I felt less of the cat sad and more of the coyote street eating love sad. I understand that coyote, how badly she wants that taste. And there it is. It's just a, a, a little bit of shiny red, just a little scrap of texture, but it's real and it's there. And if she just licks at it, it'll come up and it will dissolve in her mouth in all of its fur glory. And that is the only bit of kitten she is getting tonight. So lick it up. That coyote is used to getting kitten. Lots of kitten, right? Her DNA remembers Los Angeles before it was all asphalted and covered with hipsters to keep their fucking rescue cats indoors. She is internally accustomed to platters of all-you-can-eat kitten, and she keeps believing that is what she will find. So as she licks and licks at that same inch square of road on Silver Lake for calico juice, it feels like the first time she's not just had kitten slabs at her paw tips. The first time there hasn't been kitten, kitten everywhere. I wonder if that coyote takes it personally. You know, the lack of cat? Like, there's something wrong with her? She still got it, right? I mean, the it that makes a cat run into the road to get hit by a Fiat for you? She's got it. Of course she's got it. She, uh, eh. But to know she's got it, she needs that kitten without lots of dead beasts to slurp up. What is that coyote worth exactly, right? Oh, nine days ago. You have known me too long not to smell me getting all telling a story about an animal, but really I'm talking about me, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to end this. Say hello to eight days ago when she exists. Me. Dear Kirsten, stop being obscure. You're boring with your attempts at weird. Your brain. P.S. More coconut oil. Your audience member. My brain has written, I was always writing to the days before today to inform me I'm probably not making sense. And I hope I just want to write you and check in and let you know that I'm sincerely trying to make sense, okay? Um, this letter is to you, audience member. This letter is also to him of the nine days ago and she of the one-act play and, and them of the wonder couple. And he of the guest house. But mainly I write to you, audience member. Specifically. I'm concerned you closer to hate me, and I, I really want you to closer to like me, and I need to know the difference between those two things. And it's really important, Dead Kitten. I mean, audience member, it's really important to me. Because I want you. Even if all I get is some of your inside water left on the sidewalk to put my face in. I like you. Exo, Kirsten. Dear Kirsten, you are dumb and awful. I know you're dumb because I am your brain, and brains are smart, and you are dumb. None of this makes sense, and no one understands or will ever understand how you work. Brains, a.k.a. smarty, a.k.a. better than you, a.k.a. I'm inside your head and I also judge your head and I know what I'm talking about because I am inside here. Dear audience member, I see you. This is how it works. No, no, just you. Not, not everybody watching this. Just, just you. Uh, 
I pick you outside of gender, outside of family conditioning, outside of whether you will like me back. I pick you. And and it's done. You've won me. And I, I feel something. And having, you know, being around a, a you, I feel sparky and bright and clear. This feels different. This feels like never before. This feels possible. This is the first time that I have, I felt like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I learn you. I, I watch you. I think on you. I wonder about you. And then I am a dramaturg on you. I can make you laugh, think, smile, scoff, come, run, cry in less seconds or in more. I can. If you let me, I, I can. I If I just wear the right thing or I smile or I lilt my voice just right there. I, if I look at you like like that, I'm something... <laughs> Is gonna it's gonna go my way the way I want it to it like because all the millions of other times like this, that doesn't that doesn't count before this this counts right now this is the first time like right now talking to you through this camera okay and you may be surprised that I am it but I am it right I get you I get you even if you don't know it yet yeah right there. I was placed on this planet to touch you, to crawl into you and figure out what makes you tick, need, want, hope. And once it's figured out, give it to you or get out of the way so you can get it somewhere else. But nope, you're going to want me to do it. You are. I promise. I promise. I am what you want because this is the first time right now for real is the first time I have ever really felt, you know, totally together and in the right place and, and ready. And there you are. And this is the first time I've ever because of you, because of you. Really? Really? No, I mean, ugh, ugh. Dear audience member, no, this is not the first time I've ever felt this, this kind of kitten coyote crack habit on a person. It's not, it, but it, it's actually the billionth, but it feels like the first time that does that count? Because every time I see him, every single time I see her, them, you, every single time I see you, it feels like gonna be the first time and 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 it feels like I will be different and and when I started this letter to you audience member I swear I thought I would be different and you know what while we're at it I thought you would be different I did and 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 we've got five more minutes so there's there's still time to make this the first time okay so you do something why don't you do something because I've, I've been here, I've been right here, and I've been doing everything I'm supposed to do, okay? I've been doing all this work to count like a person who deserves to be first. So it's on you. You learn me, okay? You you do what I want. Throw me up against that wall. Take this shirt off. Make, make me feel the way I'm supposed to feel on the first time. Pretty and small and important and strong and good. I'm supposed to feel like I'm a good girl, even if I am licking old carcass off the street. Like I'm an important girl. Like I'm the first girl, not the third girl, not the 20th girl, not the girl before the real girl, not the girl who doesn't even count in the girls. And we can make it the first time, okay? And I will do the thing that people do. I will I will come like a rocket and arch my back and giggle it and not be in my head wonder like who the fuck do you think you are Kirsten I won't think those things I and I, I won't I won't okay and 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 I wonder if you hate me and by hate I mean I wonder if you think I'm less than amazing I wonder if I'm doing things right now that are reversing anything good you ever thought about me and oh my god I have to stop reading this letter and writing this letter because this is the zillion time I have written it and read this letter so love and fuck off me Dear Kirsten, I understand there has been some conflict with you and your mind. Well, she showed me some of the correspondence concerning the letter to the audience, although the stationery it was written on came from behind the eyes of Kirsten. I could tell from the wetness it seems to have been written in spleen of that person standing over there. And I let your brain know you've either been on vacation or held hostage. I'm not sure which, because like I always say, if I don't know the spleen, I don't know the story. Oh, God, yeah. Good laugh about that one. Uh, nevertheless, Kirsten, you've been gone. Now, I let your mind know that as it stands now and mean that I am your next moments, I'm pretty open to what happens in me, but I encourage you to create something you'd like 
once you've arrived here. What do you want? Let me remind you, I have nothing but space for you. That all, it's all I have is space for you, for everybody, but oh my dear, I have so much space and you really do get to create what you want in me. What would be a really good first? You pick. XX, OOXX, now. P.S. You have the right to have as much kitten as you want. Ooh, ooh. P.P.S. And that first letter you wrote at the beginning of this, you stopped writing. I was listening, as was her younger time sibling. No one is not on your side. Dear audience member, I've cc'd the next moments to this, and I'm sorry it took me so long to write. I'm writing you this letter, and I'm reading you this letter from behind my own eyes right now. And I don't know how long I can stay here, but I'm trying to be behind just my own eyes. I want to stay in here behind my own eyes inside of me, but also I want you, audience member. Can I stay in me and want you? What happens? I don't know because I've never done that. And I feel this rush in me right then. There it is right now, here and here, right now is, is where I wanna take a one-way ticket to you land and not stay behind inside of me. But, but right now, right now I concentrate on who I want to be and what I want to create in this big wide space inside of me where you don't live. But as I watch from in here, I can still feel that I want you. I want you, kitten. Oh, yes. But you know what? I'm not going to take you dead and in pieces anymore. I'm not going to sneak you. I want you whole and furry and alive to chew on your ear and clean my face with your tongue and to dangerously play in the street with me. I want that. Yes, sure. But maybe I don't need her. Maybe I don't need them, him, you. Maybe I don't need you to tell me that I'm okay this time, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting you to love me. Yes, of course, but I'm not minding if you don't. Okay, I'm minding a great deal, but I'm not, okay, this is what I mean. I'm not going to use in this moment right now your hatred or your ambivalence or your lust or your fear or your love. I'm not going to make any of your feelings about me a cause for me to adjust myself in any way. You know why? Because maybe there's going to be a second, a gigantic second where I know that I want what I want and what I choose to do right now and 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 it's correct simply because I want to do it. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Like it's blessed and I know it is and I don't need anything from you unless you want to participate, unless you want to create something with me. And if you want to be my first in that, then yes, yes, I need you like crazy to make that time happen. But I'm not I'm not gonna fly out of me into you. I'm gonna stay behind in myself and you can come find me, okay? Okay. Thanks, pal. Kirsten. Dear last moment of this letter thing, this is the first time that I don't drown out, that I give myself the benefit of the doubt that my value is getting muddled by my well-meaning but very bossy brain, and I don't push that certain voice of mine into the dark water and hear it for a second whisper, hey, hey, dummy. And I mean that in the nicest way. You are a rocket. You are the rocket. You are the coming that has came and will cream all over everything. Hey, you are the best ever of the whole universe that you sit in for really real. And so are they. And so is she. And so is he. And so is you and you and me and you. So no wonder you want to eat her. No wonder I want to eat you. I don't have to kill you to do it, right? Let's try that. Sincerely, me and you.